All right, we are back, and we have got a monster for you. Yeah. It's a fun one. <laughs> it Sorry. was requested by someone else, so don't worry about the fact that I posted it again. I I don't post every <laughs> quest forever. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe I post them, but I don't choose every quest. He's lying. She's lying. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so we've still got some questions from Slick here. Oh my gosh, how many questions did he ask? Uh, he asked five, and we have asked oh. three of them. Okay. I mean, so, like... Slick's fourth question. What is something that not a lot of people know about you? Oh. Interesting That's question. Good question. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm British. Oh, no! I know that? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, seriously, no. most people I talk to on the internet don't it's automatically assume that I'm American until I say otherwise. Well, that's because the internet is American. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah. It is it? It was invented by the U.S. military. Oh. Hmm. Okay, um... Let's try a different thing. Uh, DARPAnet, etc. I am. I'm, at, I'm more of an introvert than an extrovert. Hmm. So, you you know, if you put me in a room full of people, I will most likely not be the loudest person. Makes sense. Yeah, I like to be quite reserved sometimes. Although, most people are kind of um, extroverted, so it doesn't really Same. mold quite well. Yeah. Same here. That's why I don't Ouch. talk much on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. There is. I'm gonna actually share a little, a little bomb here. A secret? Uh, not That's... really a secret, but it. Can it's, we uh, pretend just... it's a secret? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, oh. Someone. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Monster Hunt, it's Monster Hunter Cross. It's Cross. Cross habit. Yeah. Cross, you're allowed to hit monsters while they're being ridden. And um, it actually helps. Yeah. Oh, he's eating the meat. sleepy meat. Don't land on the trap. Don't land on the trap. He won't. No, 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 he won't. He won't. He won't. Yes. He won. yes. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, my, my biggest se well, secret. Quote unquote secret. Um, let me just put the trap here, actually. Oh, never mind. oh there's already one. All right, cool. Yeah, that's right. Um... There is a there's a K-pop song that oh, I like. That's fine. Nice. Yeah, like I really like it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't And think yet that's... you don't like the song at the end of Monster Hunter Cross. That song is so bad. <laughs> it's it's like it's like oh it's like it's like oh let me go super quiet dizzy. It's like why 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 would you do that? Why would you do that? Don't don't do it, please don't do it. No, no, don't no. Oh great, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> it's like like that. He's got me. No. Yay. All right. Free hits. Oh. Yep. Well, not the most free hits because this is the one where he can still walk around and do stuff while yeah. carrying me, which is adorable. <laughs> oh, I'll save for the you, rescue. buddy. Okay, this next move is gonna be a stun. I guarantee it. Well then, don't do it right when he gets knocked down. Alright, so, Slick's final question. Are you still playing Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and if so, when are we going to hunt again? I think this video answers the first part of that question. <laughs> <laughs> stun, please! Nice! There you go. Very I told nice. you the next one's going to be stun. Um... I still pl yeah, I still play um, Ultimate sometimes. Um, when do we when we'll play when we hunt together? I am mm, not too sure really. Call him out. Like, <laughs> well done. That's what we did. That's how we're hunting with him. Yeah, that's, that's true. Mm, maybe, maybe in a week or two time. Maybe yeah. depends. Of course, by the time this goes up, who knows? <laughs> Maybe. Rock, even you better sooner. put a rush on the editing to make sure that. Oh yeah, trust me. 
I've been actually trying to do that more with the last few things we've been having. Whoa, wee! That was crazy. Oh, into the next load zone. Yeah, I jumped clear out of the area when I was getting off his back. <laughs> oh. oh, it's paralyzed. Para, para, paralyzed. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. All right. Well, that Focus was point. it from uh, Slick. So next up, we've got friend of the show, Benster. 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 And uh, mm -hmm. he starts off by uh, noting that this is a Pokemon podcast, right? The Whalmer Dawn Fan Podcast. Oh, yep. the well, the well, what? WDP. <laughs> Whalmer Dawn. Wow, nice. I'm gonna go carve that tail. Okay, fair enough. But yeah. So we need uh, some fan art. We need some fan art with the, with those three Pokemon. Yeah. WDP. Well, th there's two Whalmer Dawn Fan. <laughs> Podcast no. isn't a Pokemon. Unless it's a po maybe it's a Rodom. Oh, right, there we oh. go. Oh, shoot! Okay, so uh, yeah, he, he then goes on to say that he's going to ask about your experiences playing competitive Pokemon. Okay. So his first question, when did you get into playing Pokemon competitively? 2008. Very nice. specific. No. Um, was it 2008? I believe... It was definitely when Pell was first released in the US. So, if I remember that year, it was maybe 2007? Was, was it earlier than that? I'm not sure. But it was definitely on the release date of um, Pokemon Pearl. Okay. And was it Pearl that you were using? Yes. Alright. Although, um, I played I played Pearl, and then I, it was just normally normal casual with my friends, and then I think when Platinum hit, that's when I got competitive. Makes sense. Usually it does take a little while after each release for people to really break into co competition because they kind of need to finish the game. Yep. Ah! Be much done. But yeah, me too, but like way over here. <laughs> ah. Okay. So, next question. How did you go about finishing in the top 16 at the UK National Championships in 2013? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> nice. How well did I go done. about it? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh Judge, Judge got Judge munched. No, Judge. How did I go about it? Yeah. Um, there's one specific Pokemon that really carried it. It oh. was Vaporeon. Oh. Ooh. And Vapor what set were you running? Um, it was more like um. Um, it was like Scold, Ice Beam, Protect. Um, I think I, I think I had Haze on that on that move set at some point. Hmm. Yeah, um, Vaporeon was just a case of I needed a bulky water type, and I didn't know what Pokemon to use. It also needed Water Absorb, so I figured that Vaporeon would be the mm, right fit. I just should have trapped it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah, uh, I just needed a bulky water who could help take stuff and, you know, Vaporeon was there, yeah. so I decided to use it. Nice. And funnily enough, I was the only guy who managed to get Vaporeon into top into that top area. Mm. I think there was one other guy who, who used Vaporeon but didn't manage to get that far. Well, good on you. Thank you. <clears throat> and Benster's next question, what are your thoughts on the current state of VGC and the UK's position in it? Kangaskhan, Wigquasar, Groudon, Speed Ties, Lock, Hacks, Gyogre. Yeah. Over <laughs> here we're seeing a lot more Groudon than yeah, anywhere Gra else. Apparently Groudon is our, is our lord and savior. Yeah, Primal Groudon <laughs> is pretty OP. Mm -hmm. Until Onatoria comes in or Golduck. Yeah. But then, but, well, when it's Primal, mm -hmm. do Altaria and Golduck still affect it? Yeah, huh. Cloud Cloud Knight still affects it. I mean, Neato. there was one, there was one time I. Yeah, I thought you I had did... to have Mega Rayquaza in order to get rid no, of Primal's no. brother. No, Cloud Knight still works. I literally, um, what happened? I had like a Primal Groudon out, and I didn't see it until it, it switched in. 
basically he switched in Artorio, then I believe an Azumarill just came up and t just blew me with water. I was like, oh, what the heck? Yeah. So, yeah. Any any weather negation, Cloud9 or Airlock or um, Delta Stream, it will work. Okay. Yeah, uh. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Rob. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> I can't help it. <laughs> Someone else post a fun quest. Yeah! Fun can be in quotes or not. <laughs> uh, how about some raging bracky? Let's do it. Yeah! Let's get pumped! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna gun this one. I'm gonna use my light like, on this one. I don't say no to brackies. <laughs> Who would? Oh my gosh, Field, I remember when Field had this this bracky phase where yeah, every yeah. room was bracky deals and then it died and then a latrium came in then it was like giala everywhere mm -hmm. um, where is where's my oh my and i got my cat stuck on the table cool i wish i had a cat but i don't all right so um did you answer how you felt about the UK's position in the current VGC? Um, the UK's position? They are getting a lot more involved, I believe. They're trying to create more um, events across the UK. Like last year, that didn't really happen too often. But um, I know they've decided they've managed to get more events down. Like uh, last year, they had some in, in um, Stratford, London. And now they've got like one or two, or a couple, a few, somewhere in Lakefield. So yeah, I think they're definitely stepping up their their game. That's always good. Yeah, I like like to see more events somewhere in UK, especially London, because you don't you don't really get too many chances. Sometimes you have to travel a lot of your way out to events such as those. Yeah, myself, if I want to go to a VGC thing, I usually have to drive about two hours. Mm -hmm. Alright, next question from Benster. Do you still regularly play Pokemon competitively? Um, not as much as I used to, to be very honest. I mean, I definitely do want to get back in, into... I mean, it's not to say that I don't play competitive anymore, I just don't play as often as I used to. Hmm. But, um, otherwise, yeah, I, um, I'll still... I'll still go at a chance to um, just play Pokemon competitively. Yeah. What's the difference between the event bracky or the event raging bracky and then the G3? Event like, one's harder. Event, event, event one's harder and it's got a different, different um, break, a different subquest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it hits harder, mm. has a bit more health. Mm. Let's do it! All right. Yeah! I have okay. a death wish! And the last question, question from Benster. Yeah. Are you going to many events this year? Perhaps I'll run into you one day. I will definitely try to do that. I'll definitely try to to go to a few events this year, hopefully. If I if I save up a lot and Yeah. Hopefully you may see me somewhere. I did definitely go to one last year. And I definitely hope to keep that going throughout next year as well or this year yeah oh, that I'm looking events. forward to PAX East this year PAX East mm -hmm. and then finally Benster gives thanks to Pokemon Trainer Red Brock and Officer Jenny for hosting this podcast <laughs> yeah I'm Officer Jenny <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that Benster recognized that I am the strongest Pokemon trainer Oh, well, I don't know about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, poor Rock is just in charge of the first gym. Hey, I'm a breeder, okay? I like and, to and breed. And also, if we're being, you know, really faithful to things, like the new canon as of Pokemon Origins is that gym leaders ask how many badges their challengers have and then decide what to use based on that. So oh. really, it means you're a nice guy, not a weakling. <laughs> <laughs> No more, yeah. Mr. Nice Guy. I believe I'm missing no an item. Just like a, I think is this Sleepy Fish? Am I missing Sleepy Fish? 
probably. And I just offers you Jenny because I look good in a skirt. Wait, it's well, yeah. Yeah. Plus that <laughs> tiara. Yeah. Yep. It's, oh, it's Barrow Bomb Lodge. Is it Barrow Bomb Lodge Plus? Yeah, it's Lodge Plus. Okay. And, and that's actually all the questions we have from people who asked questions in the thread. Yay! Uh, but it's time for the Redmond bonus round for this quest. Oh it's dear. Time. For the serious questions. So, my first question for you is gonna be, could you describe to us what happened on the last hunt where you really had fun? Like, where you left that hunt being like, man, that was great. Oh, oh this de that definitely happened. Um, I don't want to mention the Matsumaka Suchi too many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe it was... I hunt that man really well. I was like, yeah, that was awesome. Um, I think it was some somewhere in the there's there's this map music that was really really good, that has mm. a really good, a really nice music. Mm. Um, the one that was used for the for the hunter art demonstrations. Uh, um, I think ancient I'm, forest. Yeah, ancient forest. Uh, that I didn't even eat. Damn. Whoops. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I need to put this thing to sleep now. Uh, okay, hold on. Yeah, I like that map a lot, so... I think I must have just fought a generic monster there. And... Mm. It's sleeping, don't move, don't... You know. Yeah, um, I just... Why did you wake it up? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I was lance charging. That's why we don't lance charge. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't... I can't really remember what specific monster it was, but that map music made everything so good. Yeah, that map does have pretty amazing music. Like, I like, it's a that's shame my it gets subjected to a somewhat lesser version of the Frozen Seaway effect. Yeah. Where a lot I mean, of the monsters you fight there have their own themes. Mm -hmm. And thus you rarely get to hear that amazing music. Yeah. Like, there's only two, there's two, mon two monsters? Or one monster? That... Um, that has that effect. Yeah. There's actually like five monsters in the ancient forest that play its music, but most of them are low tier. The only one that's even at all high tier is Kieran, who isn't fun to fight. Yeah. And Kieran lost his tower theme as well, didn't it? Well yeah. done. Hey, <laughs> nice. Oh, wait. Oh, he'll come back. He'll come back. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll stick close to that. Come on, buddy. Come on, you know you want this. I always I'll find sleep. it fun to tag the glowy parts with the pheromone pellet and blow them up on people. Yeah, I like doing that with the guns as well. Dead! Oh, <laughs> Rob just died. Oh, wow. uh, he, he died it. I thought okay. we were friends! Splat. Not the greatest positioning, but it works. You can, you can still break his head. Yeah. Okay. On my way. I have just realized I've got a might seed on me. If you could add a subspecies to any monster, well, what monster would you add a subspecies to, and what would it do? Ooh, ooh, that's that's pretty that's pretty interesting. I would definitely say I'll add a subspecies to Brachydeus if I'm honest, and it would, mm. I'd probably make it do poison. Yeah, that's a thing that I would do too. Like imagine, imagine poison puddles that that are launched down and they explode. I mean, even if they don't explode, yeah, like that movie just did. Nice. Having poison erupt from the ground would be pretty neat. <laughs> well, yeah, Brachydeus is, is definitely a monster that kind of really needs a subspecies. Yeah. But it's kind of hard to place it because what would it do? Like, a bracky does that breathes fire wouldn't really be unique. It wouldn't be a bracky. It wouldn't be a bracky. Uh, water can't do it. Someone tried to say. I feel save... like they might be able to do it with ice. Yeah, so I was going like to mention that right there. Yeah. I was going to say that maybe ice could happen, but I'm not exactly sure. Shoot. Roran. 
Do we have time to paralyze it one more time? Probably. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll I'll definitely add a bit of help. Me and Judge are both running para, so. Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay. Ah, uh, tell us the story of that one event that you went to and got the signatures of the people who worked on this game on pretty much everything you own. Yes. Nice. Um, there was an event in Hammersmith, London, UK, and the was it the director? Yeah, I think you had Sujimoto and Fujioka. Yes. They were both they were both they were both there and they they went there twice in that year. And the first my first visit I got my gamepad signed by him and my book. Or was it just my gamepad? I think it was I think it was my well gamepad and my DS. Okay. It was so it was like really cool. Yeah. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. And they're like really humble guys and yeah, they are. It, it's clear that they really care about the people who play the game and want them to have a great time. There was there's actually one guy there who, I believe, had his game. He had his, he had a copy of a certain game signed many years before, and then he got it signed again. Like he still showed him the original signature that he signed all those years ago. Yeah, I actually have done something similar. Um, a while back, we had. Fujioka at San Diego Comic Con, mm -hmm. and I got him to sign my uh, Volume One and Volume Two art books. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like a year or two later, we got both Fujioka and Sujimoto at WonderCon up in Anaheim, which is about an hour and a half drive away from here. Yeah. So I went to that and got their signatures. I got them both to sign the same books. So I've got two <laughs> of Fujioka's signature in each of those art books. Nice. Yeah, I think that's the that might be the only time that Tsujimoto's come to the States. Certainly oh, wow. the only time that I'm aware of. So I'm very glad I managed to actually get up there. Uh, it's, it's a convention run by the same people as San Diego Comic Con, but it's much smaller. To the point where... Like, I heard that they were going to be there maybe a week before the convention, and I was still able to buy the tickets. Oh, that's okay. cool. So I actually got to go up there and get those signatures, and that was pretty neat. That's pretty cool. PAX sells out usually, like, within the first within the first week the tickets go on sale, man. It's crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I'm San Diego Comic-Con, the tickets sell out the moment they're on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's, that's not even a joke. If you're not in the queue for the tickets, then you're not getting tickets. Because they all sell. And does it happen, like, once a year? Twice a year? Yeah, once a year. Okay. And they've actually got it to the point where only people who bought tickets the previous year can sign up for the pre-reg. Wow, okay. And they still just completely sell out, and not even everyone who got tickets last year can get them, because some people try and get more. So that mm. their friends can go. All right. Yeah. Uh, the Comic Con that Fujioka was at, it was when they just had the demo for For You, mm -hmm. and uh, the game hadn't come out yet, so there were still questions about whether or not everyone would like it and whatnot. And apparently, at one point, he uh, did ask some of the staff at the Capcom booth, you know, do they like it? Mm -hmm. And uh, they had to tell him that, you know, people freaking love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. They they really do care about the people who play the game, and they want us to have a good time. They And it's clear yeah. that they enjoy the games just as much as we do. Mm-hmm. I want to pick that shiny up soon. You think they're aware that the series has like given birth to a like a handful of podcasts out there? Oh, probably. Do you think they watch our show? I wish, but probably <gasps> not. They, they it's don't, a possibility. It's a they possibility. They don't speak English. Oh, damn. That's right. You know what? I'm going to have to find a way to put subtitles in the bottom. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. <laughs> I cannot take another hit. 
Creep, creep. So, uh, Rock and I are involved with some local Street Pass groups. Yeah. Do you have anything similar in the UK, Sol? We have Street Pass London. Do you hey. get involved with that? Um. Go to what? the events. I do, I do. I do sometimes. Yeah. I know there's also another street pass. I think, I believe there may be a street pass Manchester. I'm not too sure. Mm. But I don't live. In, I don't live in Manchester, so yeah. I can't not get involved with them. But yeah, they they sometimes have their own events. Yeah, it's it's definitely a great resource for people at home. If you've got a street pass a, a group in your area, it's a great way to get those street pass tags. Play with new people. Yeah, I don't usually get as much street pass. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Yeah, I don't get as much street pass sometimes. The f I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. No! <laughs> Sorry, I, really I still have one more. <laughs> yeah, usually I actually get street passes sometimes through train stations. Like, they have this this hub that um, collects street pass and then holds it in place. And if your DS passes through that... Yeah, the... You, the yeah. The, Nintendo zones or whatever they call them over there. Yep, Nintendo zone. Street pass relays, that's what they are. Yep. Oh, he's tired. Mm-hmm. He's tired? Yep. Let me let me jump back down then. And yet he can still turbo brack. I can't see him. Where is he? He'll be pretty much behind you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just follow the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that might lead him to you. Oh, true. <laughs> wait, if he's tired, why don't I just flash bomb? Ah. Oh, can, I, can I flash bomb? Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Heal this dude. Oh, oh. It's all right. You're fine. And sounds like Rock's going to get to exercise those. No. <laughs> oh, load. Oh, that ride. Oh. Yeah. Yay. Wait, let me just let me just pop that that brace real quick. Mm -hmm. Wait, his his bottom one has has ignited. Yeah. So, Soul, if you could add a new monster to the game, what real world animal would you base it off of? What real world animal would I base it off? Um, monster kill. I am not particularly sure. Um, hmm. <laughs> Victory! It would probably be water based, I think. Mm -hmm. I've never really given it much thought. I really, I really haven't. That's fine. Well, I think it would be something. I think it would be something aquatic. Yeah, there are a lot of really cool and already monstrous-looking aquatic things in the world. Oh yes. Just like the sea cucumber. Most yeah. vicious creature of them all. Okay. <laughs> when threatened, they expel their guts. Searching deep in the water, waiting for the creature to show his face. Mm -hmm. Then, without moaning, octopus, octopus, octopus. I don't know. That's An my horrible. Monster would actually be pretty cool. Oh yeah, of course. Mo like monster and not like dragon, like a legit monster monster, like a yeah. wyvern. Yeah, that'd be freaking badass. I'd like to like see that. Like an octopus that. that isn't Yamatsukami. That that's what I was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but then man. they'd have to introduce water again. That's fine. I'm sure they could do it better. I don't mind going in the water for a little swim. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was fine with it in three U. <laughs> Apparently, well, a, a lot worked. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I was indifferent, so. Okay, back to the table. Yes, of beginning back. and ending. Yes. Okay. To the table. The round table. Yeah, <laughs> it is one of those. Yeah. One of those. <laughs>
I like how I got here last. <laughs> well, yeah, I hope you folks at home have had a fun time watching this. I know that at least I've had a fun time recording it. I didn't. <laughs> Oh, I right. hope Never everyone at home day. had a blast. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you have a good time, Soul? Oh, you really got to think about it, huh? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. He did have a good time. That's he good. Had a <laughs> oh, you had a god time. Oh, right, even... <laughs> I didn't mean to put that. <laughs> <laughs> we right. all reached our, our god form with our glowy blue hue. <laughs> but yeah. uh, thanks, everyone, for asking questions. We do rely on those to keep the podcast going. Yes, yep. thank you for the questions. <laughs> and we have a saying here at the Well Done Podcast... Would you like to uh, say it, Soul? Yes. If it ain't well done, it burns. Well oh, done, sir. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone for, everyone, for watching, and join us next time for the next one. See you, Jacqueline. Adios. Bye. Bye. Bye.